when you take two lines and you cross them with another, which is called a transversal, uh, you get a really interesting geometric figure. And there can be a lot uh, to learn about a figure like this. One of the things that happens is you get four angles at uh, these two intersections of the transversal with the other two lines. And there are specific names for uh, the types of angles you get in a figure like this. Uh, today, we want to learn about what corresponding angles are, what alternate interior angles are, and what alternate exterior angles are. So let's take this uh, a piece at a time, corresponding angles. Basically, uh, there's two intersections here, right? So the intersection of A and H and the intersection of B and H. Um, Angles correspond if they're in different intersections, but in the same location in each intersection. So 5, for example, is in the upper left. So is 7. So 5 and 7 would be corresponding angles. So would 2 and 4. So would 1 and 3. So would 6 and 8. So in the same location in the intersection. So a pair of corresponding angles would be angle 5 and angle 7. OK. Let's talk about alternate interior angles. So this figure, the angles can be divided up into inside and outside. Inside would be 6, 2, and 3, and 7. All these angles on the inside of the figure uh, enclosed by lines A and B. The uh, exterior angles would be the other ones, 5 and 1 and 8 and 4. So when we're trying to find alternate interior angles, we look at these inside angles and we pick any two angles that are diagonally across from each other. So that's what alternate means, diagonally across from each other. So angle 2 and angle 7 would be alternate interior angles. So would 6 and 3. The other type of interior angle you'd have would be adjacent if two angles are next to each other. But they're not asking for that in this problem. So we would get angle 2 and angle 7. All right, and the last thing we want to find is alternate exterior angles. So here we're looking at the angles on the outside of the figure, so 8 and 4 and 5 and 1. And again, alternate means diagonally across from each other. So if I had 5 here, then 4 would be an alternate exterior angle. They're both on the outside, and they're diagonally across from each other. So angle 4 and angle 5. So that is a little bit of work with some of the terms for the types of angles you get in this uh, figure where two lines are crossed by a transversal.